Well, we're ready to leave Washington to see family and friends and get some much needed uh, visiting with them. Yeah, have loved the West and Northwest, California, Oregon, and Washington. Mm -hmm. Kind of sad to see it go. Wish we had more time in Washington. We could have done some hiking and stuff, but. Just sure. needed about one more weekend, but we wanted to take advantage of, I have a couple days off from work, so take advantage of that for traveling. Trying to make reservations and that, getting back to family, the timing that we had to be there and everything, it just worked out that way. Yep. We're taking a risk though, because it could be hot and humid there. Yeah. It just They just had a bad hot and humid spell, so hopefully that's gone by the time we get there. Yeah. All right, we're rolling we're down the road. Plug in that GoPro. All right, I just uh, stopped here at the stop sign. We went a couple miles down the road and I uh, went and tightened the dolly straps. Always remember to tighten your dolly straps after you first take off because they loosen up. Straps are nice and tight. You think it wouldn't move, but it does. You got to retighten them, especially after when you first put it on. After you get going down the road and you've already retightened them, it seems to keep it tighter then. So make sure just go a couple miles or something down the road ways a couple turns something to make that thing move a little bit like it's normally going to and then retighten those straps here we go we're starting a journey oh boy put it in gear brian <laughs> you ready Vinny? <laughs> Vinny's ready <laughs> can see what that says. It says the White Pass Scenic Byway. A curve between the volcanic giants of Mount Rainier and Mount St. Helens and Mount Adams. We've been driving around singing songs way too loud because we wanna Picking up a love friends from love to cartilage best because we wanna We wanna Yeah we just wanna have fun The trunks full of time of our lives the night is young don't need anybody else, So we made it to Post Falls, Idaho last night. Our first night of this trip, we're starting off on day two. We had this plan just to stay the night at this Walmart. As you can see, there was a bunch of RVs pulled over there and uh, parked overnight. Pretty typical. Uh, very quiet Walmart. It had good reviews on the All Stays app. Mm -hmm. the, uh, this one is the one just uh, past the Washington-Idaho state line because there's another Walmart further into Post Falls that does not ha allow overnight parking. Was that the one that had bad reviews yeah. though? So. Yeah, but this one was good. Yeah, no. really good. And it stays up until 11 p.m. So if you're coming in late and you're wanting to get something, it's not a 24-hour Walmart. Yeah. All right, well, we saw diesel fuel really cheap up here when we came in, so we're gonna stop here, just to block up the road here from where we're at right now for 279 a gallon. Last time, 
it's been 3.30 and 3.01 was the cheapest we got it last time, so this is really safe. Um, we're not that empty, but it's still, still might as well get it. It, uh, yeah, it saves on, on a big the, tank. <laughs> on the Gas Buddy app, it says this one is the uh, cheapest in Idaho on off I-90, so we might as well grab it. Yep. All right. And here it is. Take my hand, we'll make it somehow We can't miss out I'm done living life with the lights I'm done with We're getting ready to cross Montana We've spent the night in Idaho, check And now tonight, Montana So we have a state line coming up, right Michelle? Yep, here's the sun Montana! Yay! So far, it looks like Idaho. I don't think it changes right up the sun. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that funny though? Whenever you, uh, you think of another state, you wonder what it looks like there, and you cross the state line, it's like, isn't it supposed to change right now? Yeah. The state line? Bam. <laughs> Stopped in Montana at our uh, at a rest stop here. I had to use the restroom. Michelle still doesn't like to drive. So far, what we've seen of Montana, it's beautiful. Let me check the straps. Ready to hit the road again. Coming through Butte, Montana. Hi. Hi. How Where are we again? Oh, we're in Whitehall, Montana. We are. Getting gas? <laughs> or no? No. Oh, diesel. Diesel fuel. Yeah. Uh, where'd you come from, ma'am? <laughs> Inside Vinny. You've been in there all this time? Yeah. 282. Want to take a ride with me, ma'am? Uh, are we going to find out if they have propane? Oh. Hey, we made it to Billings, Montana. Woo yeah. We're going to keep right onto Maloney Lane towards South Frontage Road. We're going to try to stay at Cracker Barrel tonight. We heard but some good reviews on all stays out, all stays out and that it's a good place for overnight stay um, for RVs. So we're going to give it a shot. That'll be our first Cracker Barrel stay. Cracker docking as Enjoy the journey, calls it. Yeah. We're going to cracker docking, or as Michelle would say, crackle right docking. Onto South Road. <laughs> crackle. I see it. Oh, and then we get to have breakfast in the morning there. Woo! Oh, darn. That's what I'm looking for. Enjoy the journey. 
We normally don't drive this far. Uh, we try to drive under four hours a day, preferably two each destination, but we're trying to make our way back again to um, family in Iowa. So yeah, We're on a schedule. We have a time limit. We drove how many hours today? I think over 10. Well, because we had two Holy stops cow. for fuel and one stop at a Costco, we which really wasn't very long. But Depending on if we've changed time yeah. zones or not, we'll have to look. It's either 10 hours or 11 hours. Yeah, I know. It was a long trip today. It was. But incredible views along the way and everything went well. Good so. company. And good company. Here's the Cracker Barrel. Stay here. What's that sign say? Truck and trailer parking. Is that yes. for Cracker Barrel? I don't know. No, RV and bus parking right there. Ah. Good eyes, good eyes. We'll see um, if there's some other RVs back here. Yeah. I just remember them seeing there was a lot of grass and trees for people that have dogs and stuff. But. I'm going to park here so that building blocks the sunlight and then I'll go in and ask if this will be okay. Nice view. Why, thank you. All right. All right. Well, I went inside and checked and they said, please park at the very back of the Cracker Barrel. Well, they've got one, two, three, four, five, six RV spots. And then if you have a long rig, they want you to park along here, along this grassy area. If you have a dog, you can let your dog run back here. How cool is that? That beats a Walmart any day. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, nice. Oh, Does that beat a Walmart though? Oh, it beats Walmart. Definitely. Mm -hmm. Poor Vinny is See? so dirty. Yeah. yeah, Vinny's really dirty. <laughs> He's just a dirty boy. After being cooped up for oh. 11 hours of driving, yeah. it's time to go for a walk. When you say, sweetie? Definitely. And it's not, I mean, it's warm here, but it's not like unbearable at all. No, it feels really nice right now. Hey Siri, what's the temperature? It's about 89 degrees outside. We're ready to go in Cracker Barrel. Had a good night's stay here. What do you think? You hungry? Is it? I am. I'm ready to get my barrel on. Your barrel? <laughs> <laughs> Starting to get a barrel. Oh, no, no, you're not. See what I did there? <laughs> yes, I saw. I would definitely recommend this. It was a nice, quiet night. Lots of grassy area. People with pets. There's enough room there to throw a ball for your dog to go chase. You might have to check out Cracker Barrels more often. Yes. For a, it's it's nice for a one night nice stay when you're just passing through. Yeah. They're not meant just to camp. No. <laughs> it's just a place to stop and eat. I was gonna say and get breakfast. Don't look at the sweet. We can only get down to two. <laughs> what? <laughs> she filled her barrel. <laughs> Time to hit the road. Next stop, Rapid City, South Dakota. Heading on South Frontage Road. So today's drive is going to be over five hours, probably five and a half to six hours. Probably closer to six. When we're... six. <laughs> we are just about to the Wyoming border, leaving Montana, where we stayed the night. A decent night. Where we stayed the night, a decent night. <laughs> We see a sign. Don't mind the zillion bugs on the windshield. We clean off three times now every time we stop. Wyoming for our first time. By the way, Montana speed limit was 80. Now we're at 75 on the interstate. We don't do either. Yeah. For one, the motorhome gets much better miles per gallon. Depending on your rig, this one has a sweet spot between 60 and 65 and uh, pulling the load that we have. But also
so you don't want to go too fast. That's a little dangerous. You have a tire blowout or something, or heating up tires. Keep a good eye on our TPS system. All right. Bye. Fuel time. Shell found us the on the all stays out. Nope. Nope. Gas buddy. Gas buddy. <laughs> found us our cheapest fuel. It really saves us. Yesterday we saved twenty some dollars. Well, in the last two days, didn't we? Yeah, yeah. totally. Yeah. So it basically paid for our breakfast at um, Crackle. Crack, cracker Barrel. See, she calls it Crackle, crackle Barrel. Crackle Barrel. <laughs> it's a new thing, crackle bear. I think it's cute. Like her. I always use these gloves. Diesel fuel is so nasty. I got my own set of gloves for filling diesel. Do you wish to purchase truck fuel? Got a diesel pump. Did you go to the restroom today? Get all those bugs off. Vinny is very dirty. Oh my God. It's so nice having your own bathroom. You just get up from your seat, go back, go to the restroom without going in somewhere. That's nice. <laughs> oh, I wiped my head. <laughs> okay, so we stopped and got diesel in Sheridan, Wyoming. And the place is called, it's an Exxon, but it also goes by the name of Common Sense. C-E-N-T-S. The price that they display on there is cash price only, as a lot of them do. So it was a dollar eighty-six. No, two eighty-six. I'm sorry, two eighty-six cash price. Two ninety-two. If you do not do cash, they have diesel pumps on one side of the building and diesel pumps on the other side of the building, where like big semis go. Um, RVs fit on both sides, but the thing is, on the, the where the semis go. You can use a debit card and get cash only price. You just can't use a credit card. And there's two registers inside. So if you use the pumps on the other side of the building, you can only get the cash price with cash only. She said it's weird, but they have two separate systems in there. They have a register over on the diesel or on the semi truck side for the bigger rigs. And then a cash register on the other side and their system's completely different kind of odd but so just an FYI if you have a debit card you can get the cash price if you go and get your diesel fuel on the big rig side I'm gonna call it the big rig side so I don't know what else yeah. you can you can get a motor we could have got this in on the other side as well so off in the distance there is Bighorn National Park and further west from that is uh, Yellowstone and Grand Teton National Parks <laughs> changed. Okay, watch the road. Okay, what's next? Coming up on the next two exits are for Sturgis for those motorcycle riders. No, speaking of Well we made it to 
our campsite and we're in Black Hawk, South Dakota. This is the Three Flags RV park. It's not bad. We're gonna have 30 amp, but we have sewer hookup, yay, and, and water. And we got this site through Passport America. Long haul from Washington. Sewer, <laughs> water, 30 amp. Quite a few other uh, motorhomes and big rigs here. We're right off, that's I-90. Sturgis is just right up here. Just a little ways down is Rapid City, so it's actually a really good location. We're gonna be meeting up with my aunt and cousin that live near here and anxious to see them. I think most of the sites here, they said are 100 feet long, so you know, we don't even have to disconnect the dolly. We've got plenty of room to just leave it hooked up because we're only going to be here two nights. Oh, is it still on? Yeah. Um, I forgot to tell you when I was back there, Sonny said, Sonny and he or she? Both. Or either. Okay, I'm not going there. Yeah. 